<sighs> wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> uh, good morning. This is HP Marlena. I'm coming live with you to bring forth your weekly love reading. Today, we're going to kind of just go into the messages that come out from spirit, whatever spirit guides me to tell you about love. Um, and then we're going to go into each sign and give you guys um, some insight on your specific sign. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Graceful Healing Retreats and HP Marlena. All right. <sighs> okay, so the overall energy that I'm feeling for this reading definitely pertains to your communication with others. Um, it's also about what you cannot see. Um, trying to produce something new, trying to look at other things from a different perspective. Um, some of you may be challenged when it comes to marriage or just not quite sure how to move forward in relationships. Uh, but you may be, you know, attracting the right people, but maybe how you're going about things has something to do with your upbringing, you know, um, the way in which you were taught to kind of do things. So therefore you may feel like you're going in a circle in essence, as it pertains to love. So um, just to go through a little bit of what's coming out for you, we have your green chakra that's coming out here. Um, this is talking about universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. So this mm -hmm. is definitely your interconnection with others, other relationships and things of that nature. Um, we also have here, you know, um, this is you, again, being present in these types of relationships, aware, paying attention, the reality of a situation. So what I'm definitely seeing here is whether or not you're able to pick up other options as you move forward in relationships. So this week, this is really speaking to how you see things. You know, um, when I kind of meditated on your energy prior to coming here, it really spoke to how you see things, whether or not you want to continue to go in a cyclical pattern and keep going through the same things over and over again. This is a choice that you have to make that, you know, you don't want to go there anymore. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Um, so this is all about seeing, this is called adjacent possibilities, seeing other options, seeing other possibilities as it pertains to relationships in your life. So in this case here, it could have to do with love as far as a wedding or an engagement. This is both, these are both here in reverse. It may have something to do with you calling in new people into your life so you can get the results that you're looking for. And it, like I said, may have to do with you leaving behind certain beliefs that you grew up with. Um, you know, people only teach what they know and our parents do the best that they can. Um, and, and it's no judgment in it at all. It's about you then being an individual. What is best for you, you know? So that's kind of the energies I'm overall seeing this week for you. Um, let me just get a little bit of advice on how to deal with this. And then I'm just going to go into each sign and see how this pertains to each sign, okay? So the advice is coming out for you is stay determined moving forward. Be prepared for any possibilities, okay? So this is, again, opening yourself to other options, not being pigeonholed into one particular way of seeing things, um, one limiting belief. Um, this also speaks to, again, you kind of not seeing the forest for the trees. Is that <laughs> is that a saying? Um, you know, try maybe to, to something to that degree, not seeing the forest for the trees. There are so many options out here. Um, so, you know, and especially with, you know, the pandemic and how things are going right now, sometimes you may feel like you, you know, are kind of limited. So this is just that energy of looking outside of the box. Um, we have here, take a leap of faith. We also have a great deal of activity and sudden immediate results. We have important communication coming in for you. Um, and again, believing in yourself, listening to with your heart, doing what gives you joy. So this is literally about coming outside of your comfort zone as it pertains to um, love this month or this week, okay? It'll all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, come to a compromise. Then we also have here, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people so you can see things from a different perspective, okay? So this is a great reading so far. Let's just go. So this whole reading, like I said, is mainly speaking to other possibilities, looking outside the box. This is a beautiful thing. So 
let's go ahead and look into each sign i'm going to start off with sagittarius then go capricorn aquarius and go around the barnyard that way i said i was going to switch it up a little bit this week so you guys can uh, uh get more options or get your sign seen sooner and all of that so <laughs> i'm gonna do that this week okay um so let's go ahead and start off with sagittarius here we're going to start off with what we see as it pertains to love for Sagittarius, and then we'll keep going from there. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. Thank you for your messages for Sagittarius. What do we see as it pertains to love this week? Again, a similar message coming out here. Your love life is influenced by your religious path and upbringing. Um, again, this is your challenge this week. Uh, let's just see what this is speaking to as it pertains to Sagittarius. So we have storm warning. This is you coming out of a storm warning. Um, this is you coming out of drama, actually. Um, and then you kind of leading up to happiness. So this is kind of your trajectory here. We have the storm warning. We have a uh, strategy here in reverse. Both of these in reverse. This is speaking you coming out of that. This is you already creating a strategy to move forward. Your second chakra speaks to newness, beginnings. It also can speak to like anxieties about how you move forward. Even a little, a little bit of worry is what I'm feeling here. So this is you coming out of what you used to do and it feeling a bit uncomfortable as you move into the new. So Sagittarius, this is actually um, a great sign for you because this is showing that you're actually moving forward. Forward. this is not something that you're just staying with right you just you're actually moving forward okay Sagittarius so let me give you some advice in regards to that here <sighs> thank you Holy Spirit ancestors angels and guides what advice do we have for Sagittarius this week religious factors being a factor in your love life this week let's see your advice here is look at to your strength okay this is talking about looking to your inner strength as you move forward you are stronger than you realize so just looking to that will assist you so this is again just knowing that you know even as you move towards the sun even as you come out of those hard times even if you start to feel this anxiety know that you are strong enough to make it through. You know, this is when you call on other people to assist you as you, you know, you might want an accountability partner or something like that as you get assistance, as you move closer to your happiness, what you're looking for, your outcome that you're looking for, okay? But remember to keep your mind open. And I think that's what this whole week is about here. Remaining open to other possibilities. What you think you may be looking for or wanting, um, it may come in a different way. You may think there's only one path to get there, but there's multiple paths to get there, okay? So let's go to Capricorn. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. What messages do we have for Capricorn for this week? Mm, okay. So uh, we have religious... <laughs> Okay, so apparently this energy is going to come out for all of you. Um, and then we have healing family issues here. So there may be a pattern in your life right now that you may be going through. Um, again, this is about seeing those patterns and kind of changing that. So let's just see. Let's take it an extra step further here. Religious factors, again, affecting my Capricorns. Again, we have healing family issues here. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? Okay. So this is speaking to you again, wanting to do something different, walking away from the old, moving to something new. This is about forgiveness, leaving things behind, letting go. This is that energy here of letting go of past wounds um, and healing yourself. Um, there may be certain things that you're doing, and I kind of want to look to this red flag here. Uh, certain things that you're doing, um, all right? Um, that you're just not seeing what's actually going on because I feel like many of you may have been dealing with someone manipulative, may have been dealing with some harsh times, people who were cutting words, things of that nature, and you may be deciding to walk away from that, okay? So um, and this is something that you might have seen, wasn't quite sure what was going on, but now you're feeling cautioned by this person this week, okay? So um, you may think that you need to walk away from this person this week, all of that, okay? So we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive, okay? Um, you know, I just also heard forgiving yourself, you know, for remaining in a situation or something like that as well, you know. Clarify this healing family issues, please, your love life benefits 
as you forgive your parents. Let's see what this is about here. This is, again, healing of the past here. Um, you know, some of you may feel like someone wasn't there for you, um, and therefore you're replicating the same situation in your love life. And so this is just letting you know that this is something you can kind of leave behind, okay? This may be moving you in a direction you don't really want to go in, okay? You may feel like you're trapped to do the same thing because that's what you were taught, but that's not necessarily the truth. So let's go ahead and give you your, your love advice, and you have quite a bit here. Oh, okay, only two dropped out. Okay, good. Um, We have action, speak loudly, express your love through your actions, and then we have love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So whatever's going on in this situation, I do see you moving towards healing it, okay? Um, even if you know certain things are going on in your life, this is simply about healing those situations and speaking your truth, really expressing your loves, but not just by words. This is about action. So again, if you have been caught up in doing the same thing over and over again, you know, kind of, and you're trying to break that cycle, this is that time to break that cycle. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to Aquarius energy, please. <sighs> Aquarius energy, we have separation and it's safe for you to love. That came out in reverse. Then we also have soulmates that just had to fly out. And I'm feeling this energy as well. So let me just give you all of this because all of it, oh, more wants to come out. Okay, so let, let's try to make this quick, okay, Aquarius. Um, as you guys know, you guys had a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, signs, uh, a lot of planets in your sign. And so there's a lot that's been going on with Aquarius. If you haven't already, make sure you go and look at the Aquarius reading. I feel like everyone could kind of benefit from those energies. It was very emotional. Um, and I feel like many people are kind of uh, in these different places because of everything was kind of in Aquarius for a while, okay? So some of you may be thinking about going back with someone, um, wondering if you can, you know, love again um some of you may be coming out of a situation where you were separated from someone and wanting to move towards something new here because i'm also seeing that some of you definitely don't want to reconcile in a relationship so even um even if in the past you thought that this person could be the one so let's go ahead and just look at the past energies here Let's see what's, what, what's to come out as far as the past energies for you. Yeah, it looks like you guys definitely have a new beginning coming up if it hasn't already. Um, how beautiful is that? We have um, releasing releasing burdens here. We have releasing burdens and brand new beginnings and finances, love, all of that. You have all of that here. So that is beautiful. So this looks like after a separation, you start to recognize that you needed to release something in order to move forward, Okay. Let's see what we have in the current energies. It's safe for you to love, okay? Yep, brand new energies. Again, we have the death and rebirth and reverse is rebirth. Um, so this, again, is something that has already left you, something you stopped dealing with, putting effort into, okay? Um, and now you're kind of opening back up to something new here, okay? Again, letting go. I love this. Letting go of the past, healing, moving forward. I love this, okay, Aquarius? Um, we have here in the near future, we have soulmates and passion. Soulmate here in reverse, you may be questioning whether this person is for you, but there's definitely some new passion igniting here. Um, yeah, um, this is eight of the eight of swords, which actually speaks to you still maybe be thinking about the past here. Um, we have you letting go of being stuck because you want a brand new beginning. Some of you may even want children here as well, okay? So let's just go ahead and get you guys some advice. Aquarius, wow, that was a lot. Whew, advice for you. Take a chance on love, okay? So some of you may be fearing whether or not you should move forward. There may be some fear here. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever, okay? So treasure your loved ones. It's important that you love others deeply, all right? The last few messages that came out for you was back to what you love. Do something for someone else enduring this is about embracing your your emotions pushing down your feelings or judging your emotions don't do that this is about embracing them okay and the current situation is giving you the opportunity to reevaluate what you want what you want do something for someone else okay awesome how beautiful is that that was gorgeous aquarius
Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to Pisces. Whew, I think we're moving into Pisces seasons this week, right? So Pisces season is coming up, uh, depending upon how you follow the astrology. Some people say Pisces season already began, probably the 18th or the 19th. Um, I normally see it around the 20th, but you normally feel those energies anyway. So we're moving into Pisces season now. So keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations, Pisces. Anything else? Mm, yeah, we also have, um, again, passion reigniting for you as well. For some of you, we also have putting yourself work first. We have two messages here of putting yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It's time to take back control over your life. We also have you questioning whether or not someone in your life, it's like you're trying to keep an open mind, but you're questioning, okay? You've already met the per romantic partner you seek. So, and there's passion there, but again, there may be you, you, you're questioning it. Um, let's look at the past energies here. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. I feel like some of you were stuck on one outcome of a situation and now you're kind of finding out that there's other options out there for you. Um, and this really speaks to, again, um, I really believe it's your belief system, you know, um, the way in which you thought something was supposed to be. It, it didn't, it wasn't that way. So you may have gotten emotionally withdrawn and now you're in a process of starting new again. This is the base chakra again. Again, the base chakra really speaks to your, um, your, your upbringing, your money, your foundation. This speaks to what got you here, you know? So this is again, starting anew as it pertains to that, okay? Now you're in the process of trying to free yourself, free your mind, okay? And the rest will follow, okay? <laughs> your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. So this is your current energies here. <sighs> okay, some of you may need to speak up in regards to what's going on in your life. You have throat chakra here and you have third eye chakra here. So this is about seeing the light, speaking your truth. Let me pull a chakra message here in regards to this. What is it that you may need to speak up about freeing yourself? What is it that you may need to speak up about here? <laughs> again, the base chakra is coming out again for you. This is also speaking to how you see things. You may need to communicate to someone that you forgive them so you can let go and heal the past. We also have here seeing things from a new perspective. So there is a communication that you guys may need to have, a conversation that you guys may need to have with someone. So just FYI, okay? And then we also have here... In the near future, this could be the one. We have passion here also. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So, this could be the one. Let's clarify near future. What energies do we have for the near future? What energies do they need to look forward to for the near future? My dear Pisces. Okay. Wow, brand new beginnings. This is like heart, home. This is everything. This is like the whole shebang. This is marriage, all of that. So this is what you have to look forward to. So it just looks like you're just having to kind of forgive others, move forward, take back control of your life. Your self-respect makes you so much more romantically attractive with that walk in that confidence and you will get what it is that you're looking for. Because there's definitely a spiritual connection that's coming your way here. Look to the heart of the matter. There's more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. This relationship is a spiritual connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Oh, wow. How beautiful is that, Pisces? Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. Okay? So, how beautiful. Let's go ahead and move on here then. Let's thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and gods. Let's go ahead and bring forth the messages for my next sign, Aries. <sighs> thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. What messages do we have for Aries for this upcoming week here? Okay, finances and career, making the effort. We also have true love here. So this is your past, present, and future energies here. Um, if some of you were dealing with financial issues, these are coming to an end. This is coming to an end here. Um, you might have felt like it was you were defeated. I feel like it's, this is kind of you coming to your last rope. You're not quite sure. This is you getting to the end and not quite sure of what the outcome will be. You know, make the effort, okay, at this time. So this is the time for you to make effort as it pertains to love as well. 
opening up your heart, even if you were, because it looks like you're coming out of this place of sadness. You are now feeling empowered to move better because I feel like many of you were stuck in this place of silence and now you're feeling powered to move in a different direction. Okay. Um, yes. So, you know, again, you're coming out of this emotional loss, this emotional withdrawing because you felt defeated here in the past. Um, and you may be even questioning if you can have love again. Let's clarify this true love here. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay. Wow. Here we go again. Okay. So yeah, this looks like wish fulfillment is trying to come your way. However, the reason why it's kind of stuck and not moving forward the way you hope it will move forward is because of doubt, you know, to be honest, this is doubt. Let's just go ahead and give you some advice to kind of deal with this doubt and the suffering that you've gone through. But it looks like you're definitely coming out of this. You're definitely getting stronger this week. Um, and you're kind of reconnecting again. Um, maybe not reconnecting with the same people. This is just reconnecting. Like, you know, if you were run, running from love, you may not be running so fast. <laughs> you know, you're going to see things a lot differently this week. Okay. So be, uh, you know, just understand where you are right now. Take account of where you are right now and know that many of you are going through an awakening as well so just be aware of this and understand that you're going to see beyond what people say okay let's see what your advice is <sighs> thank you Holy Spirit. Yes, this is interesting guys what is your advice for aries okay this is trying to pop out yep listen with your heart guys you may be listening to what is being said but you need to listen with a loving heart, okay? This is about, again, seeing things for what they really are. This is not just listening to what people say. This is actually moving forward in a different way with a different awakening, a different system, you know, a different level of awareness, okay? How beautiful. Okay, let's do this. I love it. All right, so let's go on to the next sign. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Angels and guides. After Aries, we have Taurus. Let's look into Taurus, please. What can Taurus expect this upcoming week? We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And this situation um, involves a wedding. Um, then we have retreat, worth the wait. And then we have unrequited love here. Let go of control issues as well. Okay, so um, some of you <sighs> may be wanting to uh, end a cycle here. Um, I'm really feeling a need to tell you that it is it's happening um this week many things are changing for you oh so much is coming out we have new beginnings here um and it looks like you're leaving behind you know deception okay you're wanting to see the truth for what it really is so again i feel like some of you may have been in a place of confusion and now you're ready to make some decisions okay um but it looks like here you have chemistry here with someone in the past here um, some of you may have taken a step back from this person, but in this current energy, it looks like the spirits are working with you. Let's look at your current energy here. What can you expect this week, this current energy here? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Let's see here. For my dear Tauruses, please clarify. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I would say, listen, um, you may be getting downloads this week. You may have dreams. Um, Spirit is trying to guide you as far as trying to balance out a situation. Um, and so just know that if it has not happened, if you haven't come together this week, it's because it's a necessary need for a spirit to intervene in order to bring things to a place of balance here because someone is definitely um dealing with some sort of cyclical pattern addictions things of that nature spirit is trying to bring you out of this place of heartbreak so they want you to be aware of what's going on and this may be the reason why you're alone so you may want to go around other people and just try to do something different here we also have um again the universe stepping in to assist you here so you can kind of take back control of your life as well okay so this is also about your own empowerment here okay so in the near future we have to stay optimistic about your love life and if you were in a situation that just seems like it just couldn't come back there may be another option for it to grow okay let's see what we have here in the near future mm, yeah obstacles and challenges are you have obstacles and challenges here and then we have the light 
So this is your challenge to get to this light here, to get to a place of hope. You need to remain optimistic about how you move forward. Let's go ahead and get you some advice here, Taurus. What is the advice here for Taurus? What is the advice here for Taurus as it pertains to love this week? <sighs> All right. Taurus, receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something loving from others is a way of showing love, okay? And then we have focus on love and I love you, okay? These are very important words. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each other and, and in every person in your life, okay? Um, don't let a situation that happened here in the past kind of soil you from your new beginning. Remain positive. Know that spirit has your back. Um, this situation may have involved a marriage as well. So maybe that's where the heartache came in. Um, but just know that spirit is still working on your behalf. This is very important. Thank you, guys. All right. So let's move on to Gemini. Thank you. Let's move on to Gemini. What are the messages for Gemini for this upcoming week? What messages do we have regarding love for Gemini? What messages do we have regarding love for Gemini? All right. Some of you may be considering getting back with someone here from the past. We also have here um, enjoying this moment fully makes you look extremely loving and attractive. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, but this is in reverse. So I just feel like some of you may be contemplating it, but you're not feeling it, okay? Um, this may not be something that you really desire. You know, someone from your past may be wanting to reconsider things or what have you, but it looks like you are um, wanting something different, new. You're ready to move forward. You no longer want to be trapped here in fear. Um, maybe this person makes you feel fearful in some way, okay? Um, cause I'm seeing here that there's, there's a possibility of it, but, but, okay. Yeah. It looks like you want to put your boundaries up. You know, you are trying to be assertive as to what it is that you want so you can move forward the way you desire. I love this for you, Gemini. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you guys some advice here as it pertains to love. Yeah. Somebody may be wanting to go fast with you, move forward fast. Um, but it looks here like you just need to slow down. When you get excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. It is it is important to love others deeply, okay? So this is uh, others. You know, you may be in a relationship looking to do something different. But nonetheless, this is about, you know, you really just allowing things to unfold don't be fearful you know even if they're coming towards you or what have you don't just move in the direction of fear maybe hear them out listen but definitely you know set your boundaries keep your boundaries up make sure you're safe okay all right thank you so much aquarius i mean oops i'm so sorry some of you may be dealing with an aquarius wow <laughs> wow i do not believe in accidents or mistakes there's something about that i'm just saying guys <sighs> All right, Gemini. So let's just go ahead and move on to Cancer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ancestors, angels, and guides. Okay, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. What do we have for Gemini here? Our, oh, she's And now I'm saying Gemini again. Wow, Cancers. I'm just saying. <laughs> Calling in your soulmate here. Your prayers and affirmations help bring you two together. We also have playfulness, recapture, and romance, allowing your inner unit. Your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? So we have calling in your soulmates here. Also, this one is to come out, past life love. So it looks like um, someone's coming into your life. This looks like a new connection here. Um, if this is an old connection, then this person is not taking things seriously. But this looks like a playful new connection, honestly. Something that you've called in. And you may be calling in a lover from a past lifetime. Deep. Look at that. It was worth the wait, guys. So if you've been waiting, cancer, I'm just saying. Woo! Let's go ahead into this a little bit. Calling in your soulmate. Clarify that, please. Calling in your soulmate. What is it that you need to know about the soulmate? Calling in your soulmate here. 
Look, oh wow, you you calling to somebody powerful, Cancer. What is going on? This is someone that's going to bring you out of the sadness, okay? Um, this is someone who you can stand your ground, be powerful with. This stand your ground really speaks to power, holding on to your belief systems and all of that. It looks like you're calling someone in here. Let's see what chakras may assist you this week. What chakra advice may assist you this week? Oh, so this person may kind of make you emotional. Uh, they may be tapping into untapped feelings here. <laughs> Uh, so you may be dealing with some emotional um, energies this week as it pertains to your love life. Um, again, this is that orange chakra energy. So some of you may be a little bit anxious, moody, a little off balance, feeling a bit off balance this week um, as it pertains to this person. And maybe trying to stand your ground, okay? Um, so let's see what advice comes out for you from the love whispers. Let's see what advice we have for my dear cancers here. Thank you so much. What is the advice this week for my beautiful cancers? Look at your patterns in relationships and also receive love and appreciation. Receiving something loving from others is a way of showing love, okay? So you may be receiving something, a gift of apologies, um, something this week. So just accepting this will be wonderful. You also have rest and relaxation is essential. We all have the fundamental need to take the break. Some of you may be real, really overworking yourself. Um, so this may be a time to kind of take time out, to step away from all of the hustle and bustle and actually get to know someone. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. So this is beautiful, Cancer. Um, so you definitely have um, some emotional, um, look, look, new emotional love this week, actually, you know. Because um, you were feeling this emotional loss, it's almost like that emotion is like coming back. And it looks like someone is pulling it out of you. Wow. Go cancer. And it was worth the wait, darling. Okay. It was worth the wait. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's move on to Leo. All right. What energies do we have for Leo? <sighs> what energies do we have for Leo and love? Mm, okay, Leo, you may need to decide what it is you want. Personally, I feel like you already know what you want. Uh, this message speaks to clearly deciding what it is that you want, so it comes to you now, but it's in reverse. Let's go ahead and find out what this is about here. Clarify this. It's like you just had an epiphany, figured something out, Leo, um, this week here, um, deciding what you want, moving in a very strong, very, uh, uh, you know, matter of fact way like very confident this week okay yeah you're making choices you know what you want as far as love as far as finances you're making things happen this week i love this if you were feeling again this sense of loss here as it pertains to love know that you are choosing wisely you're making the correct decisions you're making the decisions that will allow for you to have a new beginning it may not go as fast as you hope but um, but then again, it may. It's it's up to you. It's up to you how fast you want it to go here. Um, some of you may be dealing with the cancer here, but um, it, this is based on how fast you want things to go. It's up to you, Leo. Your advice here is to definitely be connected. Be connected to those around you. Be connected to spirit. Um, this is about universal oneness, love, and support, and your your you you receiving information from above from spirit okay so let's get your advice for this upcoming week as it pertains to love <sighs> thank you Holy spirit that's just and God. all right love endures okay love makes the difference love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security act as if your partner is here and then we also have forgiveness here Actions speak loudly. This is a time for you really to demonstrate love, but nothing can be gained by holding on to the past here. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. Act as if your partner's already here, so you always consider them. And love always makes the difference. I love that. It heals you, okay? So you definitely have new beginnings here, Leo. This is beautiful. I'm so excited for you. Um, this is a beautiful upcoming week. Um, this is awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to Virgo. 
What do we have for Virgo? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ancestors in love for this upcoming week. Ooh, oh, can sit up here. Some of you may have been dealing with a situation where things haven't been moving moving uh, in your situation here. Um, this is the time to really take back control of your situation and just kind of enjoy the moment that you're sitting in at this moment. Um, you have separation here, time apart from your partners on the horizon, but this is in reverse. This has already happened. This is also engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is in reverse. There is a challenge here that's stopping this from moving to the next level. But it looks like there are feelings here, but it looks like your challenge really is about your self-respect. Let's just go ahead because this talks about your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Um, it seems like in order for this to move forward, you're going to have to gain a new level of wisdom here. This is about <clears throat> you taking time out to meditate, to see things from a different perspective. What does it really require? Um, you may not have been looking at things from a from a, from a wide enough perspective to see what's really going on because you 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 some of you just came out of some sense of loss. OK, um, so now it's time for you to kind of speak up and allow love to begin again. So this is the time you're in right now. So you have um, the Ace of Swords and then you have Ace of Cups here. Ace of, Ace of Swords speaks to triumphant success, but this is in reverse because it looks like you're going to have to speak up, learn something new. This is kind of your challenge, just something you need to learn or recognize as it pertains to this love relationship. And um, in order to bring forth the harmony that you're looking for. But it's coming, guys. This is beautiful. So trust your romantic feelings. Let's see what advice we have, what chakra advice we have for you. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have to speak up, speak your truth, be honest. We have throat chakra here twice. And then we also have you indulging, having fun, fulfilling your needs, all of that. So I feel like some of you might need to kind of let go of some past hurts in order to kind of get you here to enjoy this moment. Libra, okay. There's, but you're going to learn how to do that. You're going to go grow closer to that this upcoming week. So let's go ahead and find out what your love advice is. Did I say Libra? Oh, wow. Okay. We have <laughs> turn your light, heart light on. Allow yourself in this moment. To reflect on the time when you experience love. I love you. These are very important words. So this will assist you this week. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and move on to Virgo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel like I mixed them up, guys. Did I mix them up? Okay. Ooh. All right. Oh, wow. So we definitely have some healing that needs to go on here now, Virgo. Um, we have here some of you getting back to a situation of family life, love life um, that has to do with children. This is about um, not only forgiving your parents, but also forgiving the parent of a child that's in your vicinity here. Okay, so that's kind of what's going on this week here. Um, this situation may be coming around again so you can address it. <sighs> yeah, um, this is speaking to your material and spiritual part prosperity, okay? So many of you may be feeling like um, you're not going to make it there. So someone's calling, coming in to talk about this situation. Um, and perhaps even a new beginning. Again, you're kind of getting some of the similar messages here from Libra. Um, new love, but then also having to speak up, speak up as to what, you, so again, this conversation is coming up here. Um, this is definitely pertaining to forgiveness, definitely pertaining to your family life. So something is kind of pivoting this week as it pertains to this. Do we have a chakra message? All right. Yep. Um, this is the time to really remain confident in how you move forward here. This is about self-love, pride, and worth. 
okay? Um, some of you may need to revisit what happened here in the past so you really know what's going on for your near future. What was kind of keeping you back here? This, again, is revisiting what happened with your parents, what happened in your household, this, that, and the other, because it may be affecting your children and your life currently, okay? All right, let's get you some advice here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, that came out. All right, so we have embracing your emotions. This may be an emotional week here. Don't push down your emotions or judge them, okay? Um, we also have treasure your loved ones. It's important for, to, for you to love others deeply, taking a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. We also have here the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. And then we have back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you the opportunity to really evaluate what you want. So it's time to express your love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Let's do this. All right. Scorpio's next. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and gods. Let's see what messages we have here for Scorpio. And I think this is the last one, right? Wow. Scorpio's making the effort here, um, but they don't have faith that this will um, necessarily work out here. Whew. Okay. You deserve love, honey. Okay. Let's see. Um, but this is in reverse again. So you may feel like someone's around you that, that you don't trust that's going to give you what you're looking for here. But you're making the effort. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Let's clarify this energy here. You're making the effort here. All right. Some of you may be following your intuition here. Um, you, you're not quite sure how to move forward here. You're just making the effort. You're trying to just move forward. Um, use an experience as a teacher. Experience is a good teacher. It takes someone like me to know. We also have here the will of fortune, beautiful authority, sacrifice. So this is speaking to the hangman. You trying to choose what it is that you want, how, if you're going to lead. This is about um, others can lead you or you can be the leader. It's your decision here. But it looks like we have the will of fortune that's just showing you and giving you the okay to move forward. That's beautiful. So I know there's a lack of trust due to what you've dealt with here in the past, but I must say. <sighs> Thank you. Hmm. Let's see what chakra message is coming out. Wow. Again, follow your intuition. Your intuition is big this week, so follow it, okay? This is what's going to guide you this week, all right, as it pertains to love and people in your life. Let's go ahead and um, get you a love advice for you. Oop, that popped out. Wow. Again, embrace your emotions. I, I told you guys, if you haven't already, go watch that. Uh, the, the love reading I think I did recently for Aquarius as well. Um, I'm telling you, the emotions is like deep right now, especially this upcoming week. So don't push it down. Don't judge your emotions. Um, I just want to let everybody know, especially you guys, to just know that when your emotions come up, you may be feeling guilty or feeling, like, oh, I shouldn't feel this way. Or oh, why am I going through this? These are the types of questions that you kind of ask yourself. And this is what I want to say is just let it go. Let it pass. You don't have to be stuck in it. Just let it kind of go through you and you'll be good. Okay. Any other messages here for you? <sighs> All right. Have patience with yourself. How beautiful. Okay. And there may be someone around you that you need to get to know, okay? So we have to have patience and have faith here. Okay, love is patient and kind always. And then we have learned to meet others' need for love. It's important for a relationship to grow. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekly love message. Um, I look forward to seeing you back again next week. H.P. Marlena out. <laughs>